Welcome back, you're still watching The Game. The Invitational Conference is filled with many surprises and one of those was Faith Nisperis' decision to forgo her final playing year for the Blue and White to join the Akari Chargers in the PVL. And there were a lot of questions going around and lucky for us tonight, we have her with us on the show. Faith, congratulations on your UAP career and welcome to the pros. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. Now, Faith, you know, as we know, you didn't play your final year in the UAAP. So, what excited you the most about taking your talents to the next level in the pros? Well, as you said, next level. So, I'm really excited to be playing in a more competitive atmosphere with veterans that I really look up to. And yeah, that's what I'm really excited about. You know, a lot of people, when you know we were talking about them, especially those who had eligibility still in college, mm -hmm. making a decision is no small feat. There's a lot of soul searching that has to happen. How did that process go for you? Well, after the UAP, I had some time off with my family and really talk. And most of the time, we were just praying, actually, na, uh, if this is the right decision, what are the pros and cons? Of course, that is something very big factor to uh, factors to talk about. But then I was with my family. They've been my number one support system, but still when I was still young. So I'm really glad na I've made this decision decision with them. Mm -hmm. And you know, is it true, Faith, that there were like seven teams? that were trying to get you in their squad. So how you know lucky is Akari to have you? Why did you select um, that team? Well, as I've said many times that, of course, Akari made it feel very light for me to be okay. part of their team. And I really felt the family okay. uh, within the management and the team as well. Yeah, you know, you talk about the feeling that you had when they were trying to woo you, how true was that when you're actually there, training with mm -hmm. them, learning from your mga ate mo, and really taking in the culture that they're trying to mm -hmm. build there with Akari? I could say it was really true. Ta, yun nga, whatever they were saying, it materialized when I went to train with them. And uh, I was really glad, of course, I was back with my former teammates mm -hmm. and, of course, some of the veterans na I really wanted to play with, like Ate Bang and Ate Dindin as well. And speaking of former teammates, um, Vani Gandler, like she was here on the show, of course, with Signa. Mm -hmm. And I believe that you guys already met not as teammates again, but mm -hmm. as competitors. Can you tell us about how that tune up game went? How was it like for you seeing her on the other side of the court? Of course, um, there's a sense of familiarity within the, uh, the playing stage, of yeah. course. And uh, it was fun actually playing against her. And wow, like I never really knew that I. The way I studied her before to help her really helped me in the way na I could compete with her. Naman. You know, it's sometimes surreal na people that you never thought you would compete mm -hmm. against na all of a sudden are on the opposite side <laughs> yeah. of the net. Are there any you know, former teammates who are still, I'm sure, current friends mm -hmm. that you're excited to see come the PVL? And have you talked to anyone in particular? Na, well, okay, I can't wait to see you. So, of course, friends, former teammates, of course, um, those from the Chartigo team, si Ea Laure, uh, Aimee Hernandez, Joy Me, Jen, and Ate, uh, Sinang Robles. Of course, I'm excited again because um, next level. Na eh, and I've been playing with them and against them since high school. So it's really nice to see them go up the ranks diba, as well. Yeah. It, it feels like sabay sabay kayo who came into this. It feels oh, yeah. like you're all growing <laughs> up together almost every single step of the way. Did that make it feel like more meant to be? Knowing mm -hmm. that you are mo throughout your younger, the younger stage of your career, you're now jumping to the pros together? Well, if you put it that way, yeah, parang ay ko lang narilis na, oh nga, no, parang destiny na sabay sabay kami from the younger age to until this uh, level. So, yeah. And you know, Faith, you're also making cuento na, you know, it's finally sinking in. For you that mm -hmm. you are a pro and I guess you embodied that after season 85. Can you tell us you know what really motivated you to already work on yourself? You were already training, the right? Walang break yeah. since the UAAP. Of course, as an athlete, uh, we want to work on our craft and it's our skills, it's our body and that has been my passion to mm -hmm. always make myself better. Not only my body but also uh, the as a, as a whole, yeah. I guess. 
Yeah, of course. And yeah, that's the real motivation behind it. So, siempre with the change of the environment, with the change of the competition, and understanding that this mm -hmm. is probably a more cutthroat competition from a competitive standpoint, how, what did you realize that you need to improve on during your first days of training? Because iba na yung kasama mo, iba na yung uh, environment, iba na yung mga makakalaban mm -hmm. mo. What did you discover about yourself that you need to change? There is a more uh, heightened sense of, sense of urgency. Because mm -hmm. um, I'm going into this league as a rookie again. And of course, these players have um, a tremendous amount of experience already that I surely will have, but will take time. But of course, I want to be like do quality training every day to at least try to catch up with them. And that's what I discovered with myself na I have to have a more sense of urgency mm -hmm. into improving my skills. I love that for you. I mean, always uh, up for growth. And speaking mm -hmm. of the veterans team, you have Janine Marciano, you have uh, Dindin Santiago Manabat, and uh, Bang Pineda. Did they give you any advice already, like, you know, coming in as a rookie? What do they tell you, Faith? Well, of course, um, it hasn't been long, so um, advices will come, I guess. Mm -hmm. But of course, they've given me um, a very warm welcome and it was it became very easy to gel with them. And syempre, um, as an ate, they always have my back naman in training, like when I have questions, simple things like that. And I really hope na, na during my stay, I could learn a lot from them. We all know that the Sakari team is growing more and more every competition. Mm -hmm. It feels like they're an edge more competitive every time. How excited are you? Basta sa mga training na nakita mo, mm -hmm. and of course, nag-tune up na kayo. But then, how excited are you for the upcoming season for all the Akari fans out there? Well, I'm very excited because slowly we're getting there, we're getting the groove, and uh, the team has nothing to go but up, right? So, uh, I'm really excited with how the training is going. Alright, Faith. Obviously, a lot of fans are going to be really excited to see you sa PVL. What can all of the Ateneo fans who are now going to be tuning in mm -hmm. to you with the Akari Chargers expect from a Faith Nesperos in her first ever conference wow. as a rookie, <laughs> na pro sa PVL? Oh. Of course, nothing will change. But if there, was, if there will be change, it will be a better Faith, a more competitive, a more fighter, a more determined uh, Faith Nesperos in the PVL. I love that answer. In fact, I we're going to loop that. it over and over again over on social media. Maraming salamat, Faith. <laughs> and you. good luck with Akari. Thank you so much, Faith. See you soon.